So how do you avoid hurting your dance partner? <laughs> so this is another video brought to you by Tulip Feet Podcast. Man, this is a question that I'm positive a lot of people are very curious about, man. And it is very very important that we all understand how important <laughs> the safety of your dance partner is man um i would absolutely love to hear from you all you know what are some ways that you take care of your dance partner ways that you prevent injury man um this is a super duper important topic man so i would absolutely love to hear from you all about this man i'm just going to speak on it and give some quick thoughts and opinions on what i believe are super duper important man um I think what is most important, man, whether it be social dancing or in a classroom setting, is to not be forceful. You don't force the moves. You you want to learn to lead well and practice it smoothly, man. I think I, I think to, to add on to that, in order to not lead forceful, you need to start out slow. Start out slow so that you understand the move and that you can comprehend what is going on. Instead of starting out fast and trying to be a performer with it, man, start out slow. If you can do it slow, then you can do it fast. I guarantee you, man. So start out slow. Learn how to execute the moves properly. And then once you get that down, then you can start to build up the speed with it, man. If you're feeling resistance in your lead, um, like I said, don't force it, man. Especially in something like the arms or the joints, man. You know, you don't want to force it, man. Um, you don't push the moves. You do not force them. And you back off and try again because something is not right. Uh, you want to think about leading as offering a suggestion to your dance partner. It's not, think of it less of you making them do something and more so you suggesting, hey, maybe you should do a right turn. Maybe you should do a left turn. You know, it's just a suggestion, man. These are just some different thought patterns, different ways of thinking about things, man. Um, I think what's super duper important as well is not using your thumbs to hold, man. Um, I've danced with some females who will put me in a vice grip and it is not pleasant. So just think about that, whether you are a lead or a follow, man. I think something that also is extremely, extremely important is timing, 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 man. Timing is so important. Um, leading is giving the lady a suggestion in a certain direction before she needs to do it. And this can only be done if you both are in sync with the music. Um, so just timing is super duper important, man. Last thing I want to add is, uh, I believe I saw this online. And I really, I really like this word. It's called floor craft. Floor craft being, you know, understanding that it is your job as a leader to know where your partner is and where she's going to be after doing a certain move and understanding that there are people around you and you need to be you are responsible for her in that moment in time and so just understanding your surroundings being socially aware of you know where you're at where the people are around you man and just being uh responsible for your partner at that time man these are just some thoughts and opinions that I had on this, man. I would absolutely love to hear from you all. You know, what are your thoughts and opinions on this? Please let me know in the comments down below.